Hi everyone. So as I turn the camera on, I realized I did not put my phone on Do Not Disturb. So it was funny. It was like I flipped the camera on and then all of a sudden I had the thought, oh crap. Nothing is an accident. So to get a couple of business things out of the way, um, I have like one or two 30 minute readings at the $60 price that are available. After that, those won't be um, available anymore. I will restock them later on in the month. But um, I do want to let you guys know that the 2020 six month personal forecast readings are now available for pre order. And what this is, is you'll get <clears throat> a month to month forecast for the first six months from like January to June um, as a personal reading. If you pre-order now, because I have like 20 for pre-order, they'll be scheduled in November, the first two weeks in November. And you'll also get a bonus if you pre-order of December. So I'll, you'll not only get January through June, you'll also get December of 2019. So you can kind of see how the end of this year, I know it's so crazy, we're like already at the end of 2019. I think a lot of people might be happy. <laughs> to move into 2020 like this. So um, if you're interested in doing that and getting the six month forecast, the information is in the description box or you can just go to my website. And on the front page, if you scroll down a little bit, there's this little button that says book a reading and you can go directly and do it that way. So for these 20 people, the first 20 that signs up for the pre-order that you will be scheduled in November. You won't get your reading until the first two weeks of November, but I'm like already trying to plan out my holidays and stuff. And I don't wanna overdo it like I did last year. I'm not offering the yearly reviews, only the six month reviews. Also, these rings are already going pretty quickly. So make sure if you wanna get a Jade Onyx ring, if you wanna get it for maybe somebody for Christmas or the holidays or you know, whatever you celebrate, I don't, I mean, whatever, make sure you get the rings. That's also on my website under merchandise and jewelry. There are three sizes, six, seven, and eight. They're jade onyx, which means they're like a green onyx and they're very healing for the heart chakra. What else? I think that's it. I wanted to get the business stuff out of the way first. I know that, um, it's not always fun to hear all of that stuff, but, oh, and if you hear, this is, this is what I was forgetting. Um, the, um, alignments, the self-alignment course this weekend on Saturday, we're doing the self-alignment course. You still have time to sign up for it. This alignment course is going to help you get out of your own way. You're going to learn the six major blocks of what's stopping you from manifesting your best life. You're going to learn how to align with universal love and really just allow yourself to be consciously aware of what's not working for you anymore and what will work for you if you just sort of change your perception. So if you're not sure about having a reading with me or an alignment, like a one-on-one -on -one alignment session with me, this is a good starting Place. It's like a fraction of the cost of what it would be to hang out with me one-on-one -on -one for an hour and do a self-alignment. So, um, yeah, choose. Choose yourself right now. And this is just the first one. I'm going to have, I'm scheduling two more, but that's not going to be until later in October. So, um, but this is, it's Saturday afternoon. It's for two hours um, and it could be. I mean, it's, it's been pretty life-changing. I'm going to teach you everything that I've taught myself or I've learned from other spiritual teachers um, on how to um, live life to the fullest, no matter what situation you're in. Like, you could be in a miserable job, and this is kind of moving into the energies of this week. So I'm actually really glad that this is kind of <laughs> where we're going with this. Um, but no matter where you are in your life, whether you hate your job, whether you're in, um, you feel like you're in like a dead end relationship or a dead end job or 
like whatever is going on in your life right now. Um, and it may be that your life is perfectly fine. You're just not fulfilled. You, you could have a really great job and you could have a really great family and you could have a really great relationship with your significant other and your kids or your friends or whatever, right? You could have actually really good relationships, but there's something that feels like it's missing. Um, this alignment course can help you find that something and to steer yourself into a different direction or a different mindset. Um, also, the weekly meditation rituals are amazing. The next one is on Sunday. That is available also on my website. And um, just if you go to like the front page of my website, fearlessintuition.net, you can see where the workshops are to the work, the, the Reiki healing circles, meditation and Reiki healing circle. So the energy this week is very transformational. And Pluto goes direct in a couple of days and we have Venus squaring Pluto right now. So if you sort of feel like a lot of stuff is kind of, is coming to the surface where you know that it needs to change, where you know that things can't stay the same in your life anymore. Um, it's it's normal. This is happening because there's this deep there's this knowing like within your soul that things cannot continue to move forward the way, that they're moving forward um, if you just keep on standing on the sidelines and waiting for things to happen for you. You actually have to be that change in your life if you want to see it. So there's this, it's almost like the cocoon be, or the, the butterfly that, you know, the butterfly in the cocoon coming out. And then that's what this week is really all about. It's about you accepting what you need to change. So, like, I've been on this journey, this health journey, health and wellness journey for the last couple, for, it's been about, it's been two months now, it's been two months, and I recognized that it was holding, that my health and the way that things were going, like, I was focusing on my spiritual life so much that I forgot to focus on my own health and well-being, and um, because of that, I started feeling really, really exhausted and, um, I had to stop the traveling plans that I had previously made to come to go out West because I just could not physically, there's no way that I would have been able to travel that, that far in the shape that I was in. So in the last two months, I've literally lost like 20 pounds. But I'm such a small, tiny person. It's really funny because when I gain weight, you can see it automatically. And you and it's almost as if, like, I've gained more than that weight that I actually did gain because I'm so short. But losing it has been so much harder because my body, because I am so short, it's like it goes away, but then it kind of like, I don't know, like moves. You know what I mean? <laughs> Like the weight moves to another area or you look big. It's so, so it's very interesting because um, I have lost this, this, and I'm so proud of myself to do it, to even like have the willpower and the, you know, be headstrong enough to like do this. Um, but it was, it, it's just funny because I can tell a difference, but nobody else has been able to tell a difference. And I noticed that my ego was starting to be like, oh, I can't believe, like everybody had to comment about when I was gaining weight, nobody can comment about how I how good I look now, <laughs> right? So I had to get my ego in check. That was, that's one of the things, and that's just kind of like on a lighter end of this energy, but that's like one of the things that I recognized within myself that I don't need anybody else's approval. That is a lesson that I have been learning all year. And I, for one, am very grateful for the pain and the heartache and um, the tears. Because then on the other side of that is the laughter. Like, I can look back and I can laugh at it and be like, I'm such a silly idiot sometimes. Whatever. Um, but but I, have, I had to remind myself when that happened to me 
to, and this is why I'm telling you this, is this is how we can, this is one of the things that I'm going to be teaching everybody how to do in the alignment course that we're doing on Saturday. But um, you can choose to, you can choose again. You can choose to switch your mind to another place to remind yourself of why you started the journey to begin with. Like I didn't start this this health and wellness journey to like I wanted like I wanted to lose weight and I know that I needed to lose weight. But more than anything, the walking in the morning, the two mile walking in the morning, I get to commune with God every single morning when I step out the door. And I'm like so blessed that the weather is still really nice because I love that I get to walk outside right now and not freeze my ass off doing it. But I get to commune with God every single morning and I get to breathe in the fresh air and I get to walk in nature and I get to think about my how my day is going to go and I get into the right state of mind first thing in the morning. And that's become my favorite part of the day. If I miss my walk in the morning, oh my God. I am a miserable turd for the rest of the day. And that's because I I set a game plan for myself to do it. I stopped eating gluten, um, not because the doctor told me to. And I'm not saying that anybody else has to stop eating gluten. But I have really bad psoriasis. And I I, I got into meditation one day and I asked my spirit guides, I'm like, Oh, the psoriasis. I don't know what to do. I've used the shampoos. I've used the creams. I've used like the anti-itch stuff and blah, blah. But it's so frustrating to me. And it's, I mean, it, it affects me in a lot of ways because I get distracted by the itching and then I can't work if I'm distracted like that. So I asked my spirit guides, what do I need to do? And this was at the same time that I started walking and the same time I started like getting, you know, going, eating, eating better and stuff. And I heard that I, that it's being, that I don't have an allergy to gluten, but that it doesn't, that it affects my psoriasis and my allergies in a way that I didn't even realize that it was doing that. So there's just something, and I'm sure that it, there's, there might even be more to that, but this is what my body and my higher self and my spirit guides guided me to do. And if you're having a hard time listening to your spirit guides, if you're having a hard time listening to your higher self, the meditations that we do once a week can really, really help you listen to that inner voice. And this next one coming up is going to be about self-love. But this transformational week that we're having right now is about learning what it is that's holding you, that's been holding you back all this time. And your ego is trying to Or your higher self is trying to get your ego in check. And that could be that battle that you're feeling within yourself. You know? And I just wanted to share those stories, like those personal stories with you, to let you know that you're not alone in in this. And and it it could probably be completely different for you. But you're not alone on this journey. And no matter how long it takes you to get to where you need to go as long as you're listening to your heart center, as long as you're listening instead of what you feel like you have to do in order to survive, you need to start listening to what you have to do in order to thrive. This isn't, we don't want to be in survival mode anymore. And this week is going to be basically in your face saying it's time it's time for you to focus on yourself it's time for you to start learning some new directions to go in it's time for you to change things about your life so that you can balance yourself out and balance your relationships out too so we have the eight of cups we have the knight of pentacles judgment you know it's funny when people don't realize that when i do the talks before i even start the cards it's very it's channeled it doesn't even come from me like spirit will say tell them this story tell them the story of how this went for you because people will relate to that so a lot of the stories that i tell about because people are like why does she talk about herself because i can relate to you on a very human level that way and this in my spirit guides guide me to what I say to you every single time we have a, a daily reading or something like that. So 
just to let you guys know. Because I know that some people want to timestamp for when the cards start, but all the stuff before the cards was channeled. And it goes along with the reading. You see what I mean when I what I mean? So Page of Pentacles, I mean, you can timestamp all you want, but there's some valuable information from Spirit that you'll miss out on. Justice and the Two of Cups. I do not offend easily. Okay, so, and this is exactly what I'm talking about. Even though you have to, you, you can't skip the steps, right? And this week is about um, bringing attention to the fact that you have previously walked away from certain things that you were emotionally invested in. And in order for you to, um, in order for you to be able to continue to move forward, you have to remind yourself of, of what you've already been through and how far you've come. And if you feel like you're just playing out the same story that you played out 10 years ago, then something definitely needs to change. And if you feel like you're playing out the same story that you did 10 years ago, something definitely needs to be completed. Cycle. A cycle needs to be completed. And there's a lesson in there that you didn't learn before. And you're going to play out this scenario again if you don't learn this lesson. And if this lesson is um, is is stifling you because you're like, I don't want to have to learn this lesson. It's too hard. Then you're just going to, you're going to keep on replaying it over and over and over and over and over again. Right. And the, so the Knight of Pentacles with judgment and this, the, the Eight of Cups up here is saying, you've already, you've already journeyed so far. You can't stop now. You got to keep going. You've already come so far in your journey and you've already like the movement forward is amazing and incredible. Just because it's slowed down a little bit doesn't mean that you stop. Right? And that judgment with the Knight of Pentacles is saying the universe is taking care of you through all of this as well. And it's very karmic. The lessons are very karmic. Now, the Page of Pentacles with Justice and the Two of Cups down here. Um, some of us need to humble ourselves to our situations right now and realize that you can have big, huge, don't ever settle. Always have big dreams. Always strive to be the best person that you can be. But if you're in a position right now where you're supposed to be learning a lesson and you keep trying to skip the steps and, um, and you become unbalanced over and over and over again within yourself and within all of your relationships in your life, then there's a lesson here that you need to learn. And so you need to kind of take a step back and allow yourself to get humbled. Allow yourself to say, okay, so maybe I'm supposed to go in this direction, but let me make sure that I'm taking the needed steps forward. If two months ago or three months ago, you said you wanted to be a certain place in your life right now, and or like you didn't like where you were three months ago, so you changed some things and you allowed yourself to see some things differently, and now you're in a new place in your life, but you don't like where you are today either, I want you to ask yourself, what did you ask for three months ago? Because if you asked for something three months ago and you actually received it from the universe, but it didn't show up the way that you wanted it to, then now you're just going to complain that you don't like your life because it's not the way that you want it to be. You have to be very careful about what you're asking for. Because the universe always provides. And if you're saying something like, for example, I don't want to be at this job anymore. I want to be at a new job where I'm happier, where I enjoy going to work every day. So you end up quitting that job. You get a new job that you like more than the other job, but you don't get paid as much and your boss isn't as nice, but you're doing what you want, right? So herein lies, this is what I'm saying. You got what you wanted. 
you got the job that you wanted. But because there are parts of it that aren't the exactly the way that you wanted it to be, you see what I'm trying to say there? You can always find something wrong in any area of your life. I live my life purpose every single day. And if I wanted to be miserable and pessimistic, I could find little nitpicking tidbits of my day or of my life that I wouldn't, that I don't enjoy. You know what I mean? It's all I'm saying, right? You can always find something negative out of your situation if you really want to, or you can humble yourself to it. And you can say, I'm supposed to be here in this space doing what I'm doing today and being with the people that I'm with on a daily basis for a reason. And the reason, I may not understand the reason or I may not understand why, but is it really up to me to understand why? Do I really need to know the why or do I just need to know that this is where I exist? Because sometimes if we knew the why, we'd be pissed off about the why. And not the just because it very much reminds me of when I would ask my mom why when I was younger and she'd be like because I said so which never made sense to me until I became a parent and then I was like oh the reason why she would say that is because stop arguing with me child I know what I'm trying to get I'm trying to get across a point to you and I need you to understand that you don't need to know why you have to do something you just have to do it and it's not to be punished. It's because sometimes the why doesn't need to be known. So let's see what the Eight of Cups is. Let's see what this emotional journey that you've been on. Okay. Oh. <clears throat> Seven of Swords and the Three of Pentacles. I'm literally hearing that some of us are going through um, situations right now where um, we have to we have to work with the people in our lives or in our space or in our energy without constantly second guess their motives. Right? It feels like with the Seven of Swords there. It very much feels like um, like you don't trust anybody in your environment. You don't trust anybody that you're working with because the Three of Pentacles is like working in a team, sort of an entrepreneurship thing as well. But if you are working in a team or you're working with people that you don't necessarily trust, um, I feel like there's there's a paranoia there. Like, it's not that you actually don't trust these people. It's that they don't know you or you haven't had a chance to get to know them or something like, it's like, I feel like there's some judging happening here, whether it's on your end or somebody else's end. Sometimes we don't even realize we're judging other people, but we actually are. It's like, even when you're comparing yourself to somebody, comparisons are judgments. I will explain what that means on Saturday if you're a part of the self-alignment course because that's one of the ways we block ourselves is we compare ourselves with others' journeys, with other people's journeys. Being in compa comparison with somebody else is judgment. You are judging someone else by comparing their life to yours, right? And you get to make the decision about who you engage with on a regular basis. You get to make the decision. I purposefully, because I still live in the same town that I lived in growing up, right? And I have actually purposefully um, distanced myself from a lot of people from when I grew up with them just because I know what their views are. It's not that I'm not nice to people and I, don't, I like to go out. I like to see people and stuff. I just don't do it as often as I used to. Um, but because I hold very close and very dear my life and what I do for a living and the place that I live in, not a lot of people, you know, I, there's, there's a lot of judgment that would come out of it. Right. So, um, I am very discerning about who gets my energy 
And some of my absolute best friends in the entire world live a half a country away from me. And um, I miss them every single day. But that's because I, I can build relationships with people because they understand me. They're part of my soul tribe. So you can choose with the Two of Wands on the Knight of Pentacles, the direction that you're going, you can choose who you're going to be around. The choices that you're making right now, though, they're going slow for a reason. And some of you are very, very stuck on the decisions and the choices that you're making. And some of you aren't really, don't really understand, again, there's that question, why? And a lot of it has to do with just being honest with yourself, really opening yourself up and being 100% complete honest with yourself. Because if you're, if you're lying to yourself, then you're lying to everybody else. If you can actually say today, um, if you can look at yourself in the mirror and be really honest with yourself and say exactly what you need to hear, That's really, that's huge. That's huge. And not in a negative way. Not by looking at yourself in the mirror and being like, you're an idiot. You need to make better choices. You're a terrible person. Something needs to change. The, the last part might be true. Being honest with yourself does not mean being self-deprecating. That's not what I'm saying. Being honest with yourself is saying, am I happy here? If I'm not happy here, how do I need to change that? And then getting quiet and listening to the answer from your higher self. Again, that's something that you will learn on Saturday if you join us. So let's see what this Page of Pentacles is because I feel like this is a humility. Yeah. And it's also, it's very, um, with the devil on the Page of Pentacles. Um, it's This is karmic. This is a lot of karmic activity happening this week. And you know what's really interesting is I've noticed that, like, I actually feel really good this week, and I mean, like, energetically, I'm very open, but that's also because I start my day off so positively, I don't, like, no, like almost nothing can touch me. If you start your day off in a positive manner, in a positive way, nothing can touch you. Nothing can touch you if you start your day off positive. If you start your day off feeling good, it is very, it's going to be very, very hard and it's possible, right? But the lessons that you're learning right now, if you feel really miserable and you feel really heavy and your energy is just not right, a lot of it is because you cannot quiet the racing thoughts. And meditation is not about silencing your thoughts. It's about cataloging them. It's about slowing things down. It's about allowing yourself to get centered. Okay, um, let's see what justice is in the Two of Cups. Some of you want to find more balance in relationships or with a particular person. And um, some of you are realizing that you're not going to be able to balance yourself out in particular relationships or with a particular person. And it may be that you want something else. Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck is extremely discerning energy that's happening right now. So we have the Hierophant on Justice. Some of you are going through um, divorces. And some of you want more out of the relationship that you're in. With the Hierophant here, um, it's like a leveling up. And the Nine of Cups on the Two of Cups... <clears throat> some of you are really looking for more in in the bonds that you have in life and um like i said you know sometimes these bonds aren't going to be in the same city that you're living in sometimes they're going to be elsewhere um sometimes these bonds aren't going to be um the people that you grew up with Sometimes you can find your very best friend in the entire world that you've, you know, you've never known before, but you meet them and two days later you're like, oh my God, you're like my best friend. I didn't know what my, I don't even know how I live my life without you. 
kind of thing, you know? Be very discerning right now. I think the moral of the story, and especially in the cards, <coughs> be very discerning in the situations that you're putting yourself in. Sorry, my allergies just like really just towards the end here is when it had to rear its ugly head. But um, allow yourself to, to see things clearly. And by seeing things clearly, that is honesty with yourself to the, to the nth degree, you know? And, um, I mean, I'm just, I, I have to just keep on saying it. I highly recommend doing the alignment course this week. Um, I, this weekend, and if you can't make it this weekend, hopefully you can make it to the other two. Um, it's going to be life changing. And, and I feel like, and I feel that like deeply that it's going to be life changing for a lot of people, uh, because it was life changing for me. Just, and I lived it. I had to do it the hard way. And I want to help you guys do it the easier way. You know, I want to guide you through the steps that got to, got me to where and my life isn't perfect. There are things that I, I am working on changing in my life, but I can tell you that I can wake up every single day and be happy. And even in those, um, really tough moments or those really hard mornings or, you know, um, something happens the night before and I wake up in turmoil the next day. I always, I have taught myself how to turn my thought processes around into something better. And I used to think, oh, it's just because I'm an optimist, but I haven't always been an optimist. I literally taught myself how to be a happy person. Even when things are really, really hard, even when things are really, really tough, and when you're a genuinely happy person and you can wake up every single day and be and choose to be happy that day, you can manifest anything. It's the time frame that we have to remember, right? You can manifest something all you want, but then you have to sit back and be patient. And the only time that you can sit back and be patient is if you're genuinely happy. Because you know that what's for your highest good is coming to you when you're genuinely happy. And not, even, not pretending to be happy, but genuinely. So, all right, that's my spiel for the day. I love you guys. Thanks for hanging in there with me today. And um, I am excited for this week um, and this weekend with the meditation and with the self. I'm just excited for this week. So, um, And make sure you get your six-month readings. I have a feeling those are going to go really fast. So, I love you guys. Bye.